three hundred years ago, the order of cosmos revealed what lay concealed within its bosom. Countless mysterious realms and dungeons descended on the earth, and then came an endless horde of formidable creatures, causing an unparalleled catastrophe for humanity. However, following the initial turmoil, humanity found refuge in the form of individuals with special abilities known as job switchers. The job switchers possessed strong powers. They fought off the monsters and saved the world that was almost destroyed. In order to continue humanity's fight against the monsters and exploration of the dungeons to obtain wealth and resources, each country started to dedicate itself to developing job switchers. These days everyone is eligible for job switching ceremony at the age of 18 years. Wang Wei, Section 2, Third Year Job switching failed, Li Wei, Section 2, Third Year Successfully switched to swordsman. Combat Department, Wang Hao, Section 2, Third Year. Successful switch to blacksmith. Please proceed to the subsistence arts department. The job switchers are normally classified into three types, namely combatants, reinforcers, and subsistence professionals. The combatant job is the most practical and sought after. In contrast, the subsistence professionals are despised by everyone and considered the weakest due to their inability to combat. Great. I switched my job to swordsman. Combat department. Here I come. This is so unfair. Why did I end up switching to the job of blacksmith? The jobs are also classified into different grades based on the talent involved. There are usually four grades of talent, namely... Ordinary, rare, arcane, and divine. Hey, look there. It's Jiang Chen, the top honor student. Holy shit, what's going on? Is this the legendary job switching anomaly? Among the four, divine grade talents are the rarest and appear only once a century. Just what grade is his job? Don't tell me it's divine grade. Jiang City hasn't produced a divine grade talent for over a century. This is unbelievable. It's said that whenever a job switcher with the divine grade talent appears, their job switching triggers anomalies in order of cosmos. Phew. It seems I succeeded in switching jobs. As expected of the genius from my school, I knew you would switch to a combatant. But I didn't expect it to be divine grade. Quickly tell me. What job did you switch to? Hmm. Ah, uh, it's Principal Wong. Sorry, but I didn't switch to any combatant job. What the? Don't tell me it's a reinforcer job, no. Actually, I ended up with a subsistence job. I think my talent is ability to accelerate the growth of plants and animals. What? How awful. The subsistence professionals have no fighting abilities. Your skill is useless even if it's divine grade. Don't be discouraged, student Jiang. Unable to fight means you can live safely. Spirit nurturer is useful in the field of research not to mention it's a divine grade talent. The recommendation for admission that I promised you previously is of no use now. But if it's about research, I got some recommendations why don't you, thank you. I'll consider it carefully. Teachers, I still have something to do. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave first. Haha <laughs> witnessing that scary anomaly, I thought it'd be a divine grade combatant job. But it turned out to be a subsistence job. Life sure is full of surprises. Everyone thought that top honors student would be able to switch a combatant. Now's there is no use even if he scores the highest in each subject. But it was quite fun watching him fail miserably. Such a loser was painstakingly putting an effort ever since he enrolled. Let's see if he can still keep up that act now, even if he worked to the bone every day. In the end, he'll still be a subsistence professional. Serve him right. Look over there. The most beautiful girl of the school, Lin, who's always second to that loser succeeded in switching to an arcane grade combatant job. A while ago they were calling me Boss Jiang. Now that I have switched to a subsistence professional, they've immediately changed their attitude. As I thought, in this world, power means everything. Still what's so bad about being a subsistence professional? Ding! Congratulations, host. You have succeeded in awakening your talent. The Zerg system has been activated. Ding! You have completed the job awakening. Awakened job, spirit nurturer, divine grade, 
since Calamity System has met the activating conditions. The founding Zerg Queen has been unlocked. Do you wish to active the system and summon Zerg Queen? In fact, it's actually the best I could have got to assist my system. My name is Jiang Chen. After perishing in my previous world, I found myself transmigrated into this world of job switchers. This world lacked law and order, and everything here was all about dungeons and monsters. It was a world where the strong dominated everything. In order to stand strong in this world, I, who transmigrated into an orphan's body, put in all my efforts before reaching the age of eighteen. At first, I thought I would live depending on my capability. Unexpectedly, I suddenly awakened this system one month ago. Zergs, a race of aliens who look like insects. They once caused heavy losses to, to humans during the Dark Era. It is said that humans sacrificed nine out of twelve kings to seal the Zergs during the previous disaster. In a world where strength reigns supreme, I have no reason to hold myself back, as long as it can be useful to me. So what if it's the Zergs? System. Activate. Hmm. This seems like my sea of consciousness. That must be my talent. I didn't expect it to be a tree. Ding. Job talent. Omni evolution requires sacrifice. Can be initiated once every ten days. Each target is limited to one time use. Ding. Omni fruits. By defeating enemies, you can accelerate fruit growth with special fruits dropping randomly. Growth acceleration can accelerate the growth of living things. Current acceleration 10%, cool down, 8 hours upon each usage. What a great system. It even helped me to analyze my job talent. These talents don't appear to have any combat power, but all of them can be used on my Zerg system. Ding! The system has completed its examination. Do you wish to summon the founding Zerg queen? Summon! Ding! Summoning the Zerg Queen. Such a domineering aura. Ding! Summoning completed. You have summoned the disaster grade Zerg Queen. Nine miasma wings. Ding! Zerg Queen. Nine miasma wings. The sovereign of death who used to reside in the abyss. It once triggered the cataclysmic apocalypse known as the Third Disappearance Era before becoming extinct. Current devour value zero. Please complete the evolution and breeding of the next generation of Zergs to unlock Skiles. Damn. Why is this Zerg so big, Master? Xiao Jiu. Like. Master, Master. Xiao Ju. Hungry. Want to eat. Monsters, ding. The current growth speed has increased by 10%. You can use a sacrifice to evolve the target. First evolution doesn't require any sacrifice. It doesn't need sacrifice? What are you waiting for? Evolve. It looks like this Zerg queen needs to devour to evolve. These Zergs sure are hard to raise. This aura. Ding. Congratulations. Nine Masha Wings has successfully evolved. A new skill has been obtained. This master. Xiao Jiu evolved. It actually evolved into human appearance. Master. Xiao Jiu wants meat. My spirit nurturer's talent can accelerate Zerg Queen's devour growth, and the XP I gain from Zerg Queen's filial piety skill can help me level up faster. What's more, her buff skill can increase my attributes by 20%, helping me to increase my attack power. As I thought, my job and this system are the perfect match. Who needs the combatant powers? It seems like if I kill monsters and devour them fast enough, I will soon be having a Zerg army. However, what the system mentioned just now. Zerg. Abyss. Third disappearance. Combined with the incomplete information, obviously, this is not a power I can show others. If this is discovered, my life could be in danger. In that case, let's use my identity as a subsistence professional and Zerg Queen's poison miasma as cover to devour monsters and increase our strength. But it's not my character to lay low. I need to become stronger. Strong enough until I can show my power to the others. This is. Master, Xiao Jiu felt a threat. Student, just now everyone in the city saw that job switching anomaly. Are you the one who caused that? This person is at least a master level job switcher. No. Possibly someone even higher. 
Why is he looking for me? 